they call me I promise that you never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they call me Hey YouTube, welcome back to The Real Hicks Family Today's episode of Stepmom Life Vlog Chronicles Part 17 I'm the daddy <laughs> Yes, you are the daddy So Today I decided to switch things up a little differently and have my husband join me for a stepmom vlog, wife vlog chronicle, sorry y'all. So. So as you know, my wife has been doing the step stepmom life vlog chronicles for about sixteen, that's about four months now, man. That's yeah. congratulations to you first and foremost. Thank you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? And she's got fourteen thousand subscribers on this channel. My yes. God. Thank you everybody for uh, supporting the channel too. I just want to say thank you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yes. Make sure you follow all our um, vlogs, man. So once again, like he just said, hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that bell so you can get all the Real Hicks Family vlogs notifications. Y'all don't want to miss out because I promise you, yes, we've been in a tubecation but we are coming back heavy and hard with some bangers for y'all. Man. So make sure y'all stay tuned. And you know, then we can swung on everybody. It did, but you know, times is hard for everybody. So we we thinking about some ways that we could do some giveaways for people that can possibly help them out. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Yes, sir. And get this video to what you feel you know since we're just coming back off of our tube vacation get this video to 150 likes you feel me we're gonna start off like we're gonna work out with y'all next time if the next time we're gonna be 300 true that but let's go ahead and jump into today's topic of stepmom life vlog chronicles part 17 and today's topic is none other than when should you allow your kids to date? Well, as you, you know before, um, I don't know. We actually did a video on that, but we're going to talk about it a little bit more in depth. I don't know when yeah. we're going to release that one, but um, that one will probably come out well, before or after this. This that one's gonna come out before this one. Okay, so if you watch that video, you know we're very adamant. <laughs> very, very, very adamant about our kids not dating and putting school exactly. first. Like I yes, don't listen. We understand their kids, they're gonna go through this, they're gonna go through that. But Uncle Kevin, <laughs> I understand. If you know I'm pretty sure you guys don't know my uncle Kevin, but he's a military yes. <laughs> vet. <laughs> living all the way through, living to 2020 with the with the vet rules, with the army military rules, man. Real Yo, talk. I'm laughing because our cousin is 18 and he's just turned 18. Hey Jazz. Yes. Happy belated birthday. But he literally told us that whoever she marries has to <laughs> <laughs> has to be willing to accept that she is going to be living in their house, meaning that whoever she marries is going to have to move in. And if he's not okay with that, then that ain't the one for her. People, people. So, <laughs> do you hear what she just said? <laughs> this girl just turned 18 and he told her literally, whoever you marry, they got to stay in this house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all thought I was bad. But on a serious topic, what age is the perfect age for the kids to start dating? Because we know that the kids are turned into preteens, so okay. it's only a matter of time before they start liking boys, and then you really gotta like hover over them like a hawk <laughs> and like little girls. Still up, Jill. Our kids. Mm -hmm. Y'all know your daddy ain't got two screws. <laughs> That's in the right pocket, just screwed in right. Listen to me, people. My daughter is turning 12 in November. My mm -hmm. son just turned 10. Yes. I'm not trying to be arrogant, but we got some beautiful kids. Now, 
Mm -hmm. He's still. I'm in my own martial law. <laughs> <laughs> you in your own martial law. I got my own martial law. No. no when it comes to our kids. Disregard that. He has his own set of rules when it comes to the kids. He doesn't want them dating. But realistically, what age did you start dating at? Wait a minute. I feel like I'm on trial right now. <laughs> what day no. did my mom, God rest her soul, glory and rest in peace, did she let me start dating? Yes. Like actually going out on a date with other yeah, girls? Yeah, like actually taking a girl out on a date and going out. Freshman year in high school? Freshman. I, I wanna, that's something, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I had my first date freshman year in high school. I wanna say mine was either freshman or sophomore in high school. It was like when I started uh, dating. When my mom was okay, like she was open to me dating, but I had strict rules. Junior high, the year before. New Orleans schools are different. Yes, I'm from New Orleans. I don't know if you guys have been following me or not. I I grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana, born and raised. Uh, my middle school was Fantasy Williams. And I believe it was either that last year of that year or freshman year of high school. So just to give it an answer. Okay. Well, I didn't start dating until I was in high school. Well, we're right, I think we're right around the same category. So. With all fairness, because you say freshman or sophomore year. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I have, look y'all, I don't have the Rona. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just clear that up. I have bad allergies. You saw what she said then. You know? Because I I'm was like, trying to get it. Get the season, but no, I was trying to get with, with all due respect, I think it's fair to say high school probably is around the time where all that started. stuff is going to start okay. transpiring. So, so tell her. I would say a you junior too. in high school because literally I was a, a freshman, I think, in high school. And I mean, I didn't really, I mean, I went out, but it was just kind of like, okay. <laughs> Wow, it's, it's, it's always new when you start doing it because you you know you want to be grown in the essence you want to be mm -hmm. more in tune with what's going on but now in 2020 not granted i'm not gonna say the age that i was when when my freshman year in high school but things definitely have changed i've graduated a little bit over a decade ago okay look <laughs> so, a little bit over a decade ago. So, granted, I know the times have changed. Yes. My daughter and my son is my heart and soul, and I promise you, I'm gonna hold on to that purity as long as I can. From an educational standpoint, meaning, yes, our kids have been either on the principal's honor roll yes, or yes. slipped and got a C all the way up. Taylor's in the sixth, Jalen's in the fifth. Wow. All the way, yeah, right. Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> but they have been straight good students. I, I, yes, mm -hmm. we're in a, a, a blended household now, but shout out to Tell Angela's mom for keeping them in contact, you know, keeping them in contact with school. I, I will say that. And keeping them focused. Keeping them school. focused with school, you know. I, you know, salute that. And but they're they're great, and I love y'all so much for keeping y'all here. Right. I don't want to tarnish that with them. That's what exactly. You know? But I feel like you don't have to tarnish it. But I do know, and I'm saying this because I have friends that were like this mm -hmm. in high school and I kind of had to like ease back from them because I was like, mm, not really my scene. But I do know 
When you start liking boys, you gonna do any and everything to try to get to that person. Or when you start liking girls, you gonna try to get to that girl to go see her. And I had friends who would sneak out the house, like their parents, their parents worked overnight or their parents were at home. They would literally sneak out the house to go see who. At what age? That they was trying. We was in high school. What year? I had friends that was probably sneaking at the house like sophomore year in high school. Lady, listen to me. Tell and Jill, and I know for sure you're gonna watch this. I wish you would. All I'm saying is, I feel like it's okay to date once you're a junior in high school, but it would be some boundaries. Like, I. I okay, look. Y'all can tell me I'm wrong or not. Leave a comment down below. But I think I would be that parent. Like, yeah, y'all can go on a date. But I'm going but with you. Exactly. Like, y'all can go <laughs> sit over there at the table. I'm and going with here. you. I'm going but with you, man. I'm going to give you your space. I'm going to give you about a rope by this long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a goddamn rope by this long, bro. Like, listen, my daughter, I have a good texture here. My daughter has long, curly, wavy hair. Yeah, My son has hair just like me. Listen to me. I understand we are in 2020, Trey. You're going to have to relax and listen. Look, Wu Day, you got my number, bro. I promise you, when I call you, we're going to have some serious conversation because I know it's going to happen. I know it's that time and it's a different generation of how kids adapt to oh, yeah. what's going on in the world right now. And meaning. We might, I'm sorry to cut you off, but we might be overreacting for nothing because nowadays kids don't know nothing about social interacting because everything is on their phone. They might have like a virtual date. That, that might be the First and foremost, Taylor and Jalen, when y'all decide to even save a girl's number in your phone, oh boy's number in your phone, we gonna talk about it. It's not gonna be a grill. It's just understanding, look, I'm here to protect you. I'm here. We're here to protect you. Yes. And tell her, you know what happened when I came to your school that time and that little boy told you, hey, if you don't check out the YouTubers Q&A and you get all the details of that. Yes, <laughs> but I would just say this. I think they would be okay to date once they're juniors in high school, but junior in college. Know. <laughs> Let it be known, if grades start slipping, <laughs> everything get cut off. <laughs> Listen to me. Everything get cut off. We getting deep into this conversation, but all the fathers out there, I got you and I understand. But I do understand that we need to understand the time and the generation that we live in. Yeah, we do. We need to understand that, and you don't need to understand that eventually you're going to have to let go of them broke and let them grow. Because I feel like parents, if y'all try to hold on to y'all kids too much, and you don't give them enough, like, leash to go out. <clears throat> like, I was watching this TV show, and I don't know, I guess you can say, like, the borderline kind of like Amish people. And the daughter just wanted to go to the city like she never been. She wanted to see what it was. They wouldn't let her go. So what did she do? She ended up running away. You know what? She went to go experience the world. I do. I feel like if you keep your kids on a short lease, on a short lease, I don't know if I'm saying the right Leash. Thing. Leash. There you go. If you keep them on a short leash, they're going to rebel and push against you. Because that is true. They want to go see what's out there. Like they're not going to. Even though you can tell them to you blue in the face, they don't give a damn what you're doing. They want to go see for themselves. But I feel like it's okay to let your kids go out, but keep them on a tight rope. Like you don't just like, hey, okay, go do whatever you want. You got to monitor your children. Because if not, your children will start sneaking out. They'll start disappearing in the middle of the night and you'll be like. I got cameras all over this goddamn house. I wish you would sneak out of here. <laughs> I wish you would. Well, yeah, they can't get out of here. <laughs> so, <Damn. laughs> comment down below what you think is a good age that we should let our kids grow up and be many adults. I'm going to say many, many adults. I mean, you don't have all the privileges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. So, thank you guys for watching. Yes, thank you guys for watching. Stepmom, Life Vlog Chronicles. 
part 17. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that bell to get all the real Hicks notifications. You don't want to miss out because we have some bankers coming for you. Yes, it's sir. Good. Put together a giveaway. So you want to make sure that you tune in for that. And also make sure you like this vlog. And yes. Yes. also make sure you comment down below. What is a good age to let the kids start dating? Believe that. That is, I want to hear your honest opinion, yes. man. And let me know some real life tales, man. So hit us up on Instagram if it's too long to put on here in the comments. Exactly. Y'all can DM me if y'all don't want to put it out there. If y'all want me to talk about it, if y'all want me to share your story, just comment, you know, or DM me if y'all don't want to put it out there for everybody. Because when you DM me, it goes straight to me. So let me know. All Until right. next time, it's been your girl Jay and my husband. Trey. <laughs> okay, bye. Deuces.